Could not be more depressed right now. Oh, yes. But yeah, it was a fucking nightmare. Bad, bad session. Worst session I've ever had. If you want to know how my blackjack is going, let me show you. We are on a new adventure now. And this time it's just me. This is one week before I go to Louisiana slash Mississippi, because as I was doing more research, of course, most of the casinos I wanted are technically in Mississippi, but there are, of course, like in uh, New Orleans, a good amount in Louisiana. But this is one week before I go. I still have another week of classes. As some of you know, I'm an undergrad student in Pennsylvania. But, you know, last video you guys saw, I hit the casinos in Pittsburgh area. It was, to be fair, I only played at three of them. I went to four of them, but I only played at three of them because the one at Wheeling backed me off instantly. With that being said, I'm now headed east to Philadelphia. And the plan is, it's Thursday right now, and I don't have any classes on Fridays, thank goodness. But I'm driving to Philadelphia right now. And the plan is to arrive Thursday, hit the Parks Casino that's in North Philly first, like North, and then in actual Philly, I think there's a Rivers Casino and a Live Casino. What? It's definitely a Live Casino. I can't remember what the other one. It might be a Rivers. It might be something else. But the plan is to hit Parks tonight, and then Friday and Saturday night, use the cover of that it's super busy, hopefully, to play as much as I can on those two nights. And then maybe on the way back in another casino. Uh, that's a little further south, up where that was called. Up sun. And uh, yeah, so super excited. And I did make one mistake. I made one mistake. I forgot to bring a hat. I like to wear hats and I'm realizing that hats are giving me a little more cover. So and it's, it's just the less of my face they get, the better. Um, I want to point out something as well, and this is more of a thing that whenever I'm recording a table play for you guys, I need you guys to understand something. I say it's the nicest way possible. It is not a priority. You guys are, you seeing the table and me getting the right camera angle at the time is not a priority. It's not. My priority is making sure I'm playing the hands right and I'm keeping the count. So, I usually start recording when the count gets high. That's when I try to record anyway. So me recording and you guys seeing that table play is just nice that you guys can do. But to be honest, it's not a priority for me. My priority, priority is basic strategy and keeping the count, talking to other people, the dealer, and using that as cover, having a good time uh, while, while you know keeping the count. Me recording for you guys is not a priority and a lot of my comments not a lot. I can't even say a lot. I would say less than half of my comments are, hey, like, you need a better camera angle. I'm like, well, yeah, you might be right, but at the same time, I don't, it's not a priority for me. Second thing is, and even though I just said that, this might come as a surprise to some of you other card counters out there that give me a lot of hate for showing, one, showing my face, two, recording, and it's fine, all good. I understand where you're coming from, but this is fun for me. I do this for fun. I'm not a full-time blackjack player. I'm not. I'm... I, I do a few things. I'm a competitive chess player. I study chess. I go around in chess tournaments. In fact, in eight days, I will be at the Pennsylvania State Championship. Oh, son. Yeah, crappy son. You guys can't see. Uh, but I'll be in the Pennsylvania State Championship, which last year I won. So I'm a competitive chess player. I work part-time in the Pennsylvania National Guard. And I'm an undergrad student at the university I attend. I'm not going to say where at university, and after university, I'm going to law school. So I'm doing a few different things right now, so me being a blackjack player is not a priority. So I kind of need you guys to understand that. And it's not that I don't appreciate the feedback, it's just that I'm not that far into it where I, I, I care that enough, care enough. But when I do play, right, my priority is keeping the count, generating EV, and making money when I do play. So the watch is not a priority, but I do this for fun. And I, I'm sharing my experiences with you guys in a different way than um, some other YouTubers may, where they tell, us, tell it in a story mode. I'm doing this kind of as I go, right? I'm just doing it as I go. So I hope you guys can understand that. 
and you guys, uh, you know, continue to support me, which you guys have been. It, it's been great. My YouTube channel has been blowing up since I started this, so I, I do appreciate you guys. But that being said, I'll let you guys know when I arrive to my hotel, which I'm currently driving to, which is right in between two casinos. It's perfect. Uh, couldn't be happier with the location. Oh, we're starting the trip down about $250 because I had to pay for the hotel. So already we're down $250. But, you know, hopefully the math works itself out and we generate some good EV. Oh, also, I got more comments to do my videos sideways like this. And if I'm in a casino, I can't really do it. But I figure moments like this where I'm showing you guys uh, my hotel room and stuff like that, I figured why not? So it's not bad. Uh, could be worse for sure. But uh, we didn't meet Philly, of course, and it's 7.40 p.m. And first stop is, I'm debating if I'm gonna hit Parks Casino first, or if I'm just gonna say screw it and go to Live Casino. But I was gonna wait until Friday or Saturday night, so I'm really unsure. Uh, I'm gonna get on Blackjack Apprenticeship real quick, just survey my options, double check the rules, make sure I'm good. And uh, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to end up going to live casino tonight. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the table play. That's it. Not a bad one.
Every time the ghost scene. Eight or eight kids. Yep. Okay. Thank you. What the hell is there? The breath? What's that one? That's turn it off. Turn it off. No, this is your one only. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know the book says you hit that, right? Yeah. Oh, damn, you're talking about a book in this house. You're Sorry about it. Oh, yeah. I know you're not talking about it. Well, that's a very controversial hand. There's only one right answer. Yeah, sure. You okay to call up with us? Sure. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, all good. So, just can't play black. All right. No black guy. Yep. Are you playing anything else? No Spanish either. No Spanish. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. All right. We're back in my hotel. Uh, not a good session. Not a good session at all. Minus four seventy-five. So, yeah, not a great session. Um, we're back at it tomorrow. Uh, that was the Parks Casino in uh, up north, North Philadelphia. So, super polite back off though. They were nice, you know, didn't bug me for anything. Uh, yeah, minus 475. We go again tomorrow. Uh, I want to show you guys this though. Cool? Look at this. Look at this. Isn't this nice? Nice. This is a nice hotel. Uh, 274 for two nights, so good deal. Can't complain. So, I want to go to bed. Um, hopefully, we do better um, tomorrow at Rivers. Okay, so reminder, yesterday, not a good day, but that's okay. We're going to Rivers today, and uh, I ran some simulations, and fun fact, uh, as far as EV goes, we're about $130 an hour with the way our bet spread's working because we're allowed to surrender, or it's only six decks, stand 17 on all blackjack. So, it's about $130 an hour. 
Today, we're gonna go get some Dunkin' Donuts, some breakfast, and then we are heading to Rivers. And after Rivers, we have to go to live casinos. After live casino, we will go to Harrah's, or I like to pronounce it Harrah's, got some from that, uh, from the last video about pronouncing it uh, Harrah's, but Harrah's, whatever, I'll call it what I want. But yeah, so let's go get some breakfast.
Oh my god! That's not that though. Yeah, that's not that. right now i will update you guys once i get to the hotel but yeah it was a fucking nightmare uh bad bad session worst session i've ever had uh i'll update you guys once i get back to the hotel but we're leaving now so i'm very transparent with you guys about what happens and i'm gonna start from the beginning what happened so my mind thinking going in was okay there's $15 tables and there's $25 tables. The $15 have eight deck, the $25 have six deck. That's when I went in thinking. So I went in there and I saw a $25 table, sat down, all right? And there was, uh, and I played two shoes of what I thought was six deck, but it was actually eight deck. And it wasn't until two two shoes later, I'm like, that's a, that's a lot of cards. I'm like, is this six deck or eight deck? And he goes, oh, this is eight deck, only high limit has six deck. So. At that point, I was down 500, no, 300, three something, 300 dollars something. And so whenever you watch the video footage, the true, the true ones are actually zeros. And like the true twos are probably true ones or something like that, yeah. But anyway, uh, so that <laughs> hurt me. That hurt me bad, boys. Uh, so it happens, it's a learning experience for me. I'm transparent with you guys whenever I make mistakes. I could just not have said anything and be like, yep, lost, lost three grand today. 
just happens. But no, I, I made a three hundred dollar mistake, and so now I know. But they said, hey, uh, High Limit has fifty dollar minimums, but but it's six deck. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I go over the High Limit, and you know I, I'm playing, I'm playing. I probably played for a total of four and a half hours. I was there for six, but I took a break halfway in between. The dealer takes like five, at least five minutes to shuffle because they're hand shuffled, not shuffle machines, hand shuffled, and. Uh, yeah, so probably a four and a half session, but minus three thousand dollars. We lost three thousand dollars. The variance is kicking my butt right now, guys. I, I, I am, oh, I'm upset. But I want to show you guys something. If you guys are curious to know how what my stats are for my overall career so far, oh, overall career. I mean, like December from December twenty fifth, December twenty fifth to today. If you want to know how my blackjack is going, let me show you. Again, I love, I love being transparent with you guys. I really do. I love showing you guys everything. I, I have nothing to hide. So here's what my personal stats are. So I played 101 hours, as you can see there. There's my three grand loss here at the casino. Okay, it looks like I, put, I, put, I logged in for about five, which sounds great, five hour session. Um, I'm at about $78 an hour. Uh, my total earnings are 7,820 so far. And that's my graph. As you can see, I was pretty much on there. I went on a great roll for a little bit and now my AV is meeting my EV and after that $3,000 loss. So, I mean, realistically, there's 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 nothing, you know, crazy about it. So, uh, the plan for tonight is to get some food, mentally reset. I might just go over some, not a test out, but I, I might just, you know, play half a test out. Like, okay, like, how am I doing? Like, I wasn't off tonight, was I? I, I was making the correct decision, which, I'm confident I was. I'm confident I was making the correct decision. It was just bad variance. It happens. But to me, there's something I, I feel obligated to do something about it, right? That's just me. So I'm going to get some food. I'm going to relax. Tomorrow, I'm going to hit Harrow's Casino, or as I like to call it Harrow's. But we're in Harrow's Casino tomorrow. I don't think I'll go back to Rivers yet, but Harrow's Casino's and there's one more casino on the way back home. I can't remember what it's called. Valley Forge, I think is what it was. So, Harris Casino tomorrow, I'm gonna get a hat too, because I wanted to bring a hat this trip, I didn't bring a hat. So I'm bringing a hat. But, no back off though, they didn't back me off, so, I mean, jeez, it was, it was a nightmare session, guys, but, you know. Uh, I, I appreciate you guys watching, make sure you guys like and subscribe, I appreciate you guys watching and seeing, you know, me just showing you guys all my stats and stuff and what I do, so. Uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. It's raining. This is going to be pressing walking to my car. Okay, brand new day. Hopefully, I don't get rolled this time. The plan is to go to two, potentially three casinos. We're going to go to... Crap, what's the other one? Oh, uh, Harrow's. We're going to go to Harrow's. And then after Harrow's, we're going to go to uh, Valley Forge. And after Valley Forge... I might go to Hollywood Casino in Morgantown. And the thing is with the why I say potentially might not go to Morgantown is because I already got backed off of uh, the one in Grantville and they made it clear I couldn't go to the one in Morgantown. That was like a month and a half ago though. So I, I'm going to try to go and if I get trespassed, I get trespassed, whatever. But that's that's the plan anyway, so... Hopefully uh, the variance goes well. We're down for blackjack, we're down three grand. If you include the expenses of everything, uh, the hotel, probably down closer in parking. 3.5 grand is probably what we're at right now for expenses. So let's, uh, let's try to do some damage control today. Just parked, uh, enter the casino now, let's, uh, let's Let's have some positive variant uh, here heroes, okay? Hey! Hey! 
Oh, 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 oh,
Nice. Another losing session. Minus see, 2285. Is it 2285? If it was 2285, I think it was 2285, we lost $215. So minus 215. <sighs> Another losing session. And this is the worst part. Is it, it, the back off? I did get backed off. It was just a weird one. It was, you know, the guy, uh, he came up and just said, hey, you need to color up. Like the pit boss, he came behind the dealer and goes, hey, you need to color up. So I was like, really? He goes, yeah. I was like, all right. So I colored up and left. All good. Uh, he just said I had to color up. So I'm going to try one more casino before this trip ends. We're down, see, 15, like probably four grand at this point. If you, if you count expenses, we're down four grand. Uh, if you count expenses, so. Yeah, not so great, guys. Not so great at all. Uh, uh, I'll keep you guys updated when I arrive at the next casino. So, yeah. All right, at the King of Prussia. Uh, we, we, need a, we need to break this losing streak right now. Right now, my EV and my AV are, like, perfect. They say, yep, this is exactly where you should be in this amount of time. All right, so everything's perfect right now. But, man, it's, uh, I don't know. But we're still well within profit since we started counting this year. But man, uh, losing sessions. I don't like losing sessions. No one likes losing sessions. But we need to break that streak right here, guys. So let's let's see what happens. Well, sorry to break it to you guys, but it's not really worth it. So they have a sign that says uh, unrated players are limited to one hand and ten times the minimum bet. What I thought I could do was, I thought, and minimum, and uh, unless this guy was like messed up or something, and I asked him what the min bet was, a high limit at six deck, and I was expecting 50. And he said, I mean, he said 100. And I mean, Saturday, sure, it make, makes sense, but for 340, uh, I don't know. But uh, I'm ending the trip early. Uh, I, I went in there, checked the conditions, and conditions were optimal. The normal hands were eight deck. So it was gonna, they wanted me to do basically eight deck, $25 minimum with uh, a maximum bet of 250. So it, it really wasn't worth it. I'm gonna head out and uh, head home. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed the video, but six days, in six days I leave for Louisiana. So if I'm not uploading a lot, you guys know why. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one.